Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the complex integration, the topic we are dealing here with the line integral part 2. So in the part 1, we have gone through the, uh, the Cartesian coordinates like we have converted everything in terms of the uh, the uh, x and y and then we have decided whether to go for x is equals to or y is equals to that means express uh, out of x and y express the entire f of z dz and the curve in terms of one variable now in this particular uh, part or part 2 we will be dealing here with a different kind of question altogether. now here it is evaluate integration of z plus 2 upon z dz over the curve c where c is semicircle mod of z equals to 2 in upper half of z plane first part second part is c is a semicircle mod of z equals to 2 in the lower half of z plane and the third one is c is the entire circle mod of z equals to 2 now let, let us let us go one by one so if we'll go for the first one that is c is a semicircle mod of z equals to 2 in the upper half of z plane now what do you mean by mod of z equals to 2 now if you observe here this is nothing but an equation of a circle we have seen that is the last sem last uh, uh, session also last first part also but uh, let me give you this this particular thing is here that is equation of a circle with center at a comma b and the radius small r is been given to us as mod of z minus a plus plus i b is equals to r where this a comma b is giving us the center of the circle and small r is nothing but the radius now if you observe this particular mod of z equals to 2 you will come to know very simple that is mod of z is nothing but z minus 0 plus 0 times i is equals to 2 that means what the center is 0 comma 0 and small r is coming out to be 2 so if you will observe it will just try to draw this particular circle that will look like something like this figure over here so it is a 2 which is on plus axis like because it's a it's a radius is of 2 unit center at 0 comma 0 so this particular circle we have to consider but in the first case it's a semicircle and it is lying in the upper half of z plane so please do follow this this color which i have given you here which is giving us so what is the region or what is the curve over here the curve over here is this again they have not given us specified here the direction so if it is not given we will be taking up the direction like this that means it is anti-clockwise direction of this particular curve so let this z equals to r e to the power i theta because again as i have told you the last time also that we have to deal here with a circle so the circle whenever there is a circle we will be moving towards r and theta that is a polar or an exponential form so here we are going to use the exponential form z equals to r e to the power i theta but r in this case is 2 given to us that is a radius is 2 so this is nothing but 2 times e to the power i theta dz becomes 2 i e to the power i theta d theta now as i have told you that we have to move from this point to the another point in the first so first quadrant to the second quadrant on the x axis so that means what theta is equals to 0 to theta is equals to pi so this particular this particular circle will start from here at theta equals to 0 and this will be coming to this point which is nothing but the theta is coming from 0 cell aka 0 to pi and that's the reason this theta is equals to 0 to pi and therefore this particular integral integration z plus 2 by 2, z dz is coming out to be 0 to pi we are replacing z by 2 e to the power i theta everywhere dz becomes here this part so this is nothing but we are replacing everything as for the requirement over here and then just a simple integration just solving the simple integration we will reach to the answer as minus 4 plus 2 pi i it's, it's just a very simple uh, integration with respect to theta as theta is because we are we are shifting from z to theta we have to take the theta limit for the theta that is of 0 to pi over here now this is all about the part 1 let us go and check what will happen in the part 2 so part 2 is c is a semicircle mod of z equals to 2 in the lower half of the z plane so if you will observe here now this is the lower half of the z plane and if it is so then the same thing we have to apply that is uh, this the dz part would be same as what we have done it the change would be here because this particular curve is moving like this we have taken this direction over here 
lower half of the z plane if you are taking a lower half of the z plane this this theta is equals to pi over here it is starting from here that means it's starting from here pi to 2 pi so this is nothing but theta is equals to 2 pi so this x is nothing but having two values theta is equals to 0 as well as theta equals to 2 pi when we are starting we are uh, starting tracing the circle it should be theta equals to 0 but whenever we are completing it it has to be theta equals to 2 pi so in the present case we have got theta equals to 2 pi so theta is moving from pi to 2 pi and the same thing what we have done it so far in the last step same thing we have to do it here also and we got we got it here 4 plus 2 pi i as the answer for this particular question now for the third case it's a center c is the entire circle mod of z equals to 2 now in the entire circle that means what this is the entire circle we need to make use of or uh, do it the same thing z equals to r e to the power i theta that is 2 into e to the power i theta therefore we have found out the z now as it is we are tracing the entire circle so theta will start or a circle will start from here and it will come back to this point now while moving this the, this theta is moving from 0 and it is completing one circle so it is nothing but 2 pi so it's it's moving from 0 to 2 pi and if you we'll observe we will get the answer for this particular um, this particular curve the entire circle is 4 pi i and if you'll we'll observe here which is the sum of the values of the integral along the two semicircles that means we have got the answer for this lower half 4 plus 2 pi i and if you'll we'll observe in the previous step we got the answer for this as 4 minus uh, sorry what, what was that minus 4 plus just a minute let me let me let me, let me go back yeah minus 4 plus 2 pi i so this is nothing but here is minus 4 plus 2 pi i and because of this minus 4 plus 2 pi i we will be 4 minus 4 and we will reach to the answer 4 pi because the upper half of the circle semicircle lower half of the semicircle will give us this particular answer which is the sum of these two integrals. And hence, this is a self-observation slide wherein two questions has been given along with the answers for them. Uh, please do solve this. If you have any query, let me know. I will be uh, uh, present in the, put the comment in the comment section so that we can have an interaction between them. Yes, thank you. Happy learning.